The extremely dangerous and erratic wildfire situation in California. The authorities are desperately trying to prevent them from spreading further. There are at least eight weeks of the bushfire season still ahead. Good evening. We start tonight with some breaking news and U.S. media are reporting that basketball star Kobe Bryant has died in a helicopter crash in California. L.A. County Sheriff's Department say that all five people on board a helicopter have died in a crash. Basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. The chopper reportedly went down just before 10 a.m. local time, according to fire, uh, the fire department out there in Calabasas, California. That's northwest of Los Angeles. Thank you very much and good afternoon. As president, my highest and most solemn duty is the defense of our nation and its citizens. Last night at my direction, the United States military successfully executed a flawless precision strike that killed the number one terrorist anywhere in the world, Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on American diplomats and military personnel, but we caught him in the act and terminated him. Breaking news. The first death from coronavirus here in the United States. Two million five hundred and 80,769 tests for coronavirus have now been carried out in the UK. 243,303 people have tested positive. As they declared, COVID-19 is now a pandemic. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Protesters have been gathering in uh, Washington, D.C. and many other cities to mobilize against racism and police brutality. Tens of thousands braved a hot, humid day to call for reform in the U.S. Capitol. That protest and others around the world have arisen from outrage over the death of George Floyd. Tens of thousands of people took part in further anti-racism protests across Britain today with the statue of a 17th century slave trader pulled down in Bristol. Madeleine McCann was three years old when she went missing from Praia de Luge in 2007. A German prisoner has been identified as a new suspect in the disappearance of Madeleine McCann from a holiday resort in Portugal 13 years ago. 